אשא ידי אל השמיים ואמרתי, חי אנוכי לעולם. I lift up my hand to the sky and say, I am alive forever. Welcome to Word, weekly passwords to the riddles of our lives. Today we ask, what does it mean to truly be alive? Not just breathing and living and moving through the day, but fully alive. On this day after Yom Kippur, when so many of us atoned and reflected, fasted and paused, asked big questions, sang, prayed, cried, reflected on the gift of life and how to live it better. This word comes from the almost last Torah portion, from the last song of Moses, Ha'azinu, listen up, with this reminder that we lift up our hands to heaven and testify there's a part of us that lives forever. Might not be the body, not the ego, not this particular me, but there's a part of me that I'm connected to when I'm fasting, when I'm reflecting when I'm not in my thinking or doing, but in my being, that is eternal. As these trees, as the sky, as this earth, as this bug that's bugging me right now. We are invited today on the day after Yom Kippur into this Shabbat to think about what does it mean to really be alive. In what way each day, each step gets me connected to the essence of who I am and what this is all about, beyond my needs to our needs, with ways of nourishing what is and not what isn't, but looking for the beauty and finding the courage to fully, fully be alive and make sure that everybody on this planet and everything on this planet is more alive with dignity, with justice, with kindness, with every single hue and color of what life is all about. So on this Shabbat, from a walk on the rainbow paths of the upstate New York reality, I wish us all a Shabbat and a year of being really alive, not taking it for granted, leaning daily into something that will make your soul sore and your body relax and make you feel good and make others feel better. So we can truly say, I'm alive forever by being part of the bigger pattern, more than human, more than me. On this Shemitah year, where I get to drop what isn't helping and lean into what does. Thank you for joining me for weekly words and passwords. We only have one to go. That's next week. Shabbat Shalom. And let us dismantle patriarchy and let us not take life for granted. One breath, one word, one tree at a time.